Johnny Cupcakes Campbell fighting out of South Shore Sport, South Shore Sport Fighting. I'm uh, three and one with one no contest. Fighting Tateki Matsuda out of City Otome. Hi, I'm Tateki Tech Matsuda, uh, six and three as a pro. Uh, I'm fighting against uh, uh, Johnny Cupcake Campbell uh, this coming May 5th, defending my title belt. I know Tateki is a uh, very strict Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy. He's uh, good defensively on the ground and uh, offensively on the feet. It's going to be a uh, very interesting and uh, fun fight to watch. Uh, my fighting style uh, seems to be uh, uh, like uh, a lot of striking, but uh, I'm ready to fight on the ground. You know, the, I'm ready to, you know, jujitsu wrestle with my opponent. Uh, so. Uh, uh, I would say myself as a like multi-player, you know, like I want to be a complete fighter. So, uh, uh, so I don't know what's gonna happen to my next fight. I have a very unique fighting style. I kind of uh, I come from social sport fighting, where we kind of just uh, do what works. I uh, I wrestle, I I box, I kickbox, uh, I do Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Uh, I mean, I just kind of fight uh, as effective as possible, and uh, sometimes as. Uh, energetic as possible. I tend to uh, move around a lot and uh, really accumulate damage. Uh, I see really me uh, hitting him, hurting him early on, maybe second, third round, and uh, finishing him either in a submission on the ground or maybe uh, ground and pound. But uh, most definitely, I see this in a stoppage. I don't really have any like strategies because like uh, he's also like a uh, same type of fighter, you know, aggressive, and uh, he doesn't choose the place to fight. So. Uh, uh, just like you know, mentally, physically, you know, better. Like uh, try to be better than him, you know, and then like step in the cage and then see what happens. Who's gonna be the best? Uh, I'm just gonna tell him that uh, I'm gonna beat him absolutely everywhere, including on the feet. And he uh, probably is gonna be coming into this fight thinking that he has an unbelievable striking advantage. And I think really, honestly, the thing that's gonna get under his skin the most is that I'm gonna beat him up standing on the ground everywhere. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to mostly let my fighting talk for me in the cage, but uh, I'm going to beat him striking.